Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you a custom design kit for the Westinghouse WGN 7500. And this is the 7500 running and it's the 9500 starting. But this kit will also fit the uh, WGN 9500 running with the 12,500 starting. They're the same kit, so uh, this will fit both styles. Now, they also carry this in a dual fuel system, and that will fit either one of them also. Now, they carry theirs with propane and natural gas. Um, it's the same setup, basically. Um, if you want to do the natural gas and you have theirs, then you can also do that. So we'll go ahead and get started on this and show you how to do the installation. Okay, first what we're going to do is go ahead and remove our vibration nut back here off the bracket. Got that off. We'll go ahead and pull our holes off here. Pull our holes out of the air cleaner. Just kind of tuck that up in the side and we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. All right, now that we've got everything removed from the back, we'll go ahead and unclip our air cleaner here. Kind of caught up a little, there we go. And you don't have to pull any of your air cleaner out. You have six screws around here, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get those six screws off. Actually, bolt or nuts, I'm sorry. And we'll get that up there. Put them over here. Yeah, might as well pull them to the side. That one there. One more up top here. All right, now we'll go ahead and pull our center air cleaner cover off. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and remove the two um, nuts from here, and we'll show you that step. Okay, we'll go ahead and remove this, and we'll expose our gasoline carburetor. Now we've got it exposed, we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on it. Okay, well, when you install our slim adapter, obviously it's bringing the air cleaner away. You do, will not have to cut the frame on this. That's what's nice about this slim adapter. But we have to back these studs out about three to four turns to allow us to get our air cleaner back cover back on. So what I do, just kind of take your gasket off here. Be careful, don't rip them. You want to pull this choke cover plate to the side, okay? Pull this gasket off here. And again, be careful with it. And then I slide the carburetor back, okay? And I expose the back of the studs. This way, you're not messing up the ends of your threads. Go ahead and get you a nice pair of vice grips and lock down on them tight. Okay, you want to lock down on them good. And don't just try to turn them, pop them, okay? and they'll crack right loose for you, okay? Now what you're gonna do is do that on the both the front and back, turn them out about uh, three to four turns until you have enough clearance to be able to get your air cleaner on. But I have found that three turns works perfect and it gives you plenty of meat to put them back on. So we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the original gasket put back on here. Again, be careful you don't tear that gasket. And we'll get our choke mounted back up on here, our choke plate. Careful of that gasket. And our slim adapter will go on. Okay. Put our gasket on, we'll supply you with. 
go ahead and get your cover now remember you've got your stud and then that's the washer there so just go ahead and kind of line that up down at the bottom first is what i do to get it in that and then you can come up here and line your stud holes up go ahead and get that on get your nuts started back on here And get this one on over here. And you can see there's still plenty of meat there. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get them tightened down. We'll go ahead and get ready to show you the next step here. Okay, now that we've got that on, we can go ahead and get your center cover back on there. And get the nut started back on. Sometimes these things are tricky. hardly any room in these things to do anything. Most of the time you can kind of start them with a socket, but these are so tight. All right, got that one started. This one here. That one's good. All right. And we'll try to go back down here. We'll get that. I'll clean that out, and then we'll show you the next steps. We're gonna lock all this down. All right, now that we got all these locked down, we'll go ahead and get the filter back on here. Go ahead and get our cover put back on. It's all done. We'll show you the next steps. Okay, now that we've got all the front on, we'll go ahead and get our hoses put back on the back side of it that we took off. Push down in there. And again, back here, your vibration, you can see now that we've got room, we've got our extension on there. Get that on and we'll tighten that down. All right, that is it. We'll show you the next steps. All right, now that we've got everything installed there, we're going to go ahead and get ready to mount our regulator assembly. Now, all this will be pre assembled for you, so you won't have to do anything. We'll give you all the hardware to fasten it up, and uh, we'll go ahead and show you where we're going to mark that. What we're going to do. We're going to come off the outside of the frame 
we're going to come in two and a half inches. We're just going to the center of this bar, okay? So come over two and a half inches, make your mark, and then from that mark, come over and mark you five and three quarters of an inch, okay? And then what I do, I use a punch. This keeps my drill bit from wobbling on me. And go ahead and do that, and then we'll show you this step right here. All right, now we got our holes marked. We'll go ahead and drill them out. I drill them out 5 16 gives me a little clearance. The bolts are quarter inch. Now your gas tank's back here, so be careful if you're afraid that you're going to puncture through. Just use your bar back there. It's good precautious, so you don't have to worry about it at all. It's a hollow fire, so we got one more to go through. That's why it's good to use that fire. show you mount the regulator okay we got it all cleaned up here now we'll supply you the hardware i put a flat washer on the front and then i'll supply you also with the backs with the lock washers and nuts so let's go ahead and get this set up in here just kind of hold it up with your hands there that back one flat washer lock washer and then we'll get a nut on the back of this All right, there's one, get this side, again, flat washer, lock washer, and your nut. And we'll go ahead and tighten those down. There we go, we'll show you the next step. All right, now that we've got our regular regulator assembly all installed, we'll go ahead and install our vapor hose coming off our slim adapter down here. Now I keep that a little bit loose just so I can move it around. Go ahead and bring your hose up and just kind of twist it, kind of keep it out of the way. Go ahead and get this one on here. And you only have six ounces of pressure here, so you don't have to overly tighten everything. Go ahead and bring this up here. Go ahead and twist that again, kind of bring it in a little bit. All right, that is as simple as that. We're ready to run this and we'll show you the next steps. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hook this up to a propane tank. Uh, the propane side of it will come with all the regulator. Um, that way you got your POL connection. And then on the other side, you'll have your flare connection. We'll go ahead and connect this up. Now, when you're wanting to run natural gas on these, obviously you will not have this setup because you're doing propane. So what you do with natural gas is you will just eliminate the bushing and the fitting here and take your natural gas line directly to the ball valve. Now, we also have that. We carry the um, true three-quarter inch quick connects for these that are orifice for running a combustionable engine. They're different than the quick connects that you see online that are for grills, furnaces. Them have orifices in them. It won't give you enough volume to run these, so you got to have an open uh, uh, quick connect on them. So let's go ahead and get this going. Now, what we'll do, this is your power adjustment. This is the most crucial part about it. Now, obviously, we'll set this as close as we can here, but every engine, I don't care if I do five brand new ones in a row, they all seem to be a little bit different, not much. But what I do is I'll loosen that up so I got adjustment on it, and we'll go ahead and get our fuel on here, turn our propane on here, make sure our switch is on back here, and we just hit the button on this. has got a, uh, like about a two-second delay. 
On the back of the regulator, there's a primer button. Hit that for about a second. You'll hear the fuel. Hit that button. That shows you the steps on the Westinghouse. Uh, this is the WGN 7500 running, uh, 9500 starting. Uh, we showed you the propane steps, how to hook up the here. Again, like I said, for natural gas, you'll just remove this and run your natural gas right directly to this here. And this also fits the Westinghouse WGN 9500 running and the 12,500 starting. They are the same kit. And no matter if, and if you buy the gasoline unit, because they, they carry these in both units, the gasoline and then the dual fuel for the propane and gasoline. And if you have the dual fuel gasoline and propane and you want to go natural gas, then just purchase that kit there. So uh, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Appreciate it very much. We've had a lot of good response on, on the video so far. And uh, thank you again for watching this. And if you're interested in purchasing these kits from us, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.